low today we got this amplifier here it's an LJM MX50 it's a 100 watts RMS amplifier first I would like to say that this is not a paid ad I bought this with my own money so I can share the results here with you guys here you can get this from Aliexpress for 16 pound 43p for two units that is the assembled unit with the finish board and if you want the to assemble it yourself it's about it's available for a little bit cheaper you can see it there 1276 just remember that the price listed here is not including tax so you buying from the UK that is 20% VAT on top of the price there okay so this is the if you buy the assembled unit you will get something like this if you buy a kit so it's going to come like this here I need to assemble it this amplifier here is a, a little bit beginner friendly because there is no bias adjustment to do here and there is no offset voltage to adjust also so as long as there is no error in the assembly of the kit should be all good to go so this is our test setup here for today we got the amplifier here mounted on the heat sink this is our power supply here it's a split power supply 45 volts symmetrical and we got the speaker protection board there <coughs> that is a scope there and now a signal gen we got the distortion meter there and this is our load resistor here and 8 ohms so this, so this amplifier should be able to deliver 100 watts RMS at 8 ohms load <coughs> okay so this is our power supply here so it's a symmetrical 40 by 45 volts power supply Okay, so we're going to test the amplifier if it can deliver 100 watts RMS straight. Currently, the output voltage there is 28.8 volt peak to peak. We need at least about 80 volts peak to peak for the 100 watts RMS. And currently, our input is 1 volt peak to peak, 1 kilohertz. 1 kilohertz there. Eh? so we need at least 80 volts peak to peak there for 100 watts rms that's 42 8 60 62 67 70 our input is 2.5 volt peak to peak okay so simply far can take more than Two bolts pick to pick. Okay, so that's about eighty bolts pick to pick there. So that's about hundred watts RMS now and the power supply is pulling about 156 watts <coughs> so the distortion at the distortion at 100 watts rms is 
currently we're at the three percent so the full scale is three percent let's go to one percent so our distortion is about 0.38 percent 0.38 percent at 100 watts rms so the rehabit eh? 80.5 around 80 volts output and our <coughs> our input is 2.9 volt peak to peak now let's try to do a switch 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz switch Okay, we got that 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz on. So that's the sweep there eh, from 20 kilohertz to 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Consider frequency or climbing, and the voltage output is pretty stable you can see it here the output it's around 80 volts so the output is very good this uh, heat sink here let's see if it's hot yeah it's, it's really hot heat sink is really hot now <coughs> okay guys so uh, that's it please subscribe please subscribe if you like the video comments down below like or dislike thank you for watching see you next time